Hey, I just want to remind you guys, In Your Corner, a movie I directed on Floyd Mayweather and Sam Watson, is out now on vimo.com. In Your Corner, click the link in the description box. Uh, and I would genuinely love and appreciate you guys' support. And uh, don't, don't hesitate to leave a comment and let me know what you thought of the film. And uh, again, I appreciate you guys' support and enjoy the video. All right, go ahead, Town. You, you were talking about YouTube and the black channels. Go ahead. Well, I'm saying... Quote, unquote, black channels. Yeah, quote, unquote, some of these uh, black channels um, where the host is black. Now, most of these people love it when they see black channels going at it and insulting each other and um, talking shit to each other. But then when you say something about somebody else, then all of a sudden it's like you guys need to chill or sure. or or you guys, you need to relax because, see, that's the thing with me. I roasted anybody. I don't care who they are. Mm -hmm. I've made it very clear. If you come for me, I'm gonna come for you. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck what color you are. If you white and you come for me, I'm gonna come for you. You so. you you black, Mexican, Asian. You disrespect me, I'm gonna disrespect you. So, so I don't see color when it comes to disrespect. Mm -hmm. And anybody that's followed my channel, they know that. Mm -hmm. I don't have nobody have no problem cooking nobody's ass, so. and that's what it comes down to. But at at the end of the day, in society, they love it when they hear about black people going at it. Mm. You know, just like you, you know, just like I give you an example when you talk about these incidents that go on with uh with these black with these uh black unarmed uh, men and then these uh predominantly white cops. What do they say when you bring up the fact that this dude was black and unarmed and somehow ended up in the morgue and you like, okay, why did this dude get shot and he don't have no gun on him? And you got to suspect of this. That it has something to do with, you know, this cop being paranoid of black people. Sure. And then as soon as you bring that up, not only will you get white people bring this topic up, you have some black dude, some coon dude bring up, oh, what about Chicago? Mm -hmm. And I keep saying, okay, it's to the point to now, I'm tuning you out when when you say that shit. Sure. What, what about Chicago? What do Chicago got to do with a white cop shooting a black dude? Mm -hmm. That's two different subjects. And they always try to tie that shit together. And the thing that bothers me, to be technically, to be technical, Fred, there's no such thing as a black on black crime. Because one, they're making it look like when you say the word black on black crime, you're making it look like black people are killing each other because they're they don't like because they're black. And that's not the case. It has. So well, then I hate that terminology. Well, you also got to keep in mind we're the only we're the only we're the only people in America where it they don't say Jew on Jew crime, Mexican on Mexican crime, white on white crime. We're the only race in America where they where they label it, you know, and that's to and that's to keep us in the basement, you know. What I mean, they want to keep us bottom dwellers. They want to keep our mentality low, you know, and our expenses high, you know. And uh, it's just a shame that uh, our we're not reaching the mat. I know we're reaching some people, but it, it's. I hope and pray that. Uh, LDBC and Dante and myself and other parties involved that we're able to reach people. You know, I pray that town gets 2 million subs or 78 gets 2 million because it's just so imperative that, you know, that we uh, get our voice out there. You know what I mean? And what makes our voice cool is that we're a, a contemporary voice, similar to Charlemagne the God. We don't necessarily agree with him, but he's a contemporary voice. And what that means is he understands the life in which we're living today in 2017 it's not the baby boomers the 60s the 70s although we respect their struggle but it's a uh it's a more evolved america you know and systemic racism is is hitting in between the lines now it's not overt like you're black you go to the back of the bus you're black you drink out of this water fountain it's not as easy as that now you know what i'm saying so uh i uh I'm excited about our potential, and I wish our potential hurry up and turn into a, turn into some skill. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. That's funny that you bring that up when you say it's not as um, hidden. You know, back then it was just out in the open. It's like you heard people blatantly call you a nigger and the you know the the water fountains and the restaurants and shit. But the funny part about it is you see that a lot 
and particularly on YouTube, mm-hmm. most of the time it's a bunch of faceless ass dudes that come on here and say, yeah, nigger this, nigger that. Mm-hmm. And a lot of them, you know, and I think that's a shame. But at the end of the day, hey, I, I give out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can give it out, too. Yeah. Because, you know, you go that route with me, I'm going to go that route with you. So it's kind of funny that you bring that up because it, it is subliminal, but then it's still out in the open because sure. you see incidents where people hit because, you know, I'm a type of person. I can read a dude where I can tell, like, he kind of suspect where he sure. might be a suspect. <laughs> You still there, town? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wait, you watching TV? Saying caught your attention? No, no, no. I thought you, thought you told me to hold on. Oh no, no, I didn't say no. No. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. What well, a different. Yeah, <laughs> Did the girl I'm with a big it. ass walk by or what? <laughs> nah, nah. With a fat man, ass. I'm, 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 nah, I'm in the house, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, no, but what I'm, what I'm saying is, you, it's, the difference between now and like 50 years ago, it's, it's easier to practice it because you can use a computer, social media, and you don't have to show your face. And have an alias, so right? Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then even even when you get rid of these dudes, they'll come back <laughs> under a, another alias. And the funny part about it is, a lot of the people that try to antagonize me are people that I've already blocked. Because mm-hmm. sometimes you have to study people. You have to read how they type and some of the wordplay they mm-hmm. use. And see, that's one thing about me. A lot of these dudes that I didn't block, they come under these alias and shit. Mm-hmm. And see, the thing is, the funny part about it is, people used to say... Um, I was gutless and all that shit, and, and the, I wouldn't show my face, and then when I'd make videos showing my face, and then all of a sudden you would see, you know, people would get silent. Mm-hmm. One thing about me, I'm out in these streets. I walk the streets of Oakland every day, and if I ain't, ain't in Oakland, I'm all over the Bay Area. Mm-hmm. I'm not worried about nothing, because if you stupid enough to try to run up on me, then that's on you. Mm-hmm. I'm always prepared, one way or another, but I'm not on that tip. I'm the type of dude, the same way, if you got an issue with me, I'm willing to talk to you and see what you have to say, mm-hmm. and I'm willing to listen and hear what I have to say, and the problem is, people don't know how to communicate. Yeah. People, yeah. Mm, true that. True that, you're and, right. And, and see, here's the thing. If you, if you, if you Hispanic, I'm willing to listen to your issues and, and and your problems, what you have in your community, but see, here's the thing: people love other races, love to talk about their problems, but then when it comes to ours, they're not willing to listen. They just try to uh, blow us off, but at the same time, they bite in our culture. Mm-hmm. These are the same people that say black people complain too much and we ain't shit. These are the same uh, same uh, non-blacks that's putting on uh, black ball players jerseys, going out to buy Jordans, you know, trying to talk slick. Trying to act slick, you know, use you know, want to use the N word and that type of shit. But at the same time, they call themselves not respecting black people, and I don't understand that because at the end of the day, you sound like a damn fool, and you are a damn fool, emulating something that you claim you don't fucking like. Mm-hmm. So actually, you you don't you're not making any kind of sense. Yeah, everything you're saying is true. All right. Let me ask you something, Fred. That's sure. like me and you hanging out, and you constantly talking about, man, you constantly saying, man, I can't fucking stand, you know, Domino's Pizza. I can't stand. They had some, man, I don't like the cheese. I don't like the, the way they, they, you know, I don't like the crust. And then I say, yeah, you want to go to Domino's? She said, yeah, well, come on. It, it, it doesn't make any kind of sense. Sure. You can't like something, and then you try to copy off of it. You're right. You can't sit up there and say you don't like Mercedes business, but then you drive one. Mm-hmm. You're right. So I don't like. Yeah, do that make any kind of sense? You <laughs> swear to God, you don't like something, but then you try to copy off of it. Somebody gonna say that makes sense. <laughs> some some ignorant person. Nah, nah, you can't get around that. <laughs> you, you, you sound you sound blatantly. No, you just sound blatantly stupid because it's like this, man. They gonna say you know what they gonna say. You know what they're going to say? Uh, let's go to the Domino's down the street. Not this one, but the one that's two miles down the road. They have a different owner. <laughs> yeah, but at the same, at the same time, they make, it's the same formula. I it's get it. Same, I get it. It's the same ingredients. Mm-hmm. Like, no matter how many Domino's you go to, it don't matter if you go to the one in Compton or you go to the one in upscale New York. Mm-hmm. 
They still have the same owner, and they still make the pizza with the same exact ingredients that they make them everywhere else. Yeah. Someone in the comments actually going to say they don't have them in upscale New York. They don't have it in the Hamptons. <laughs> I was fucking with you, man. You know, you know these people in the comment section be trying to just find a point where they can drive home. Hey, hey, you know what I mean? Hey, 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 these are the same people that think, think that Conor McGregor is going to knock Floyd out in 30 All right, hold so up. Let me, let's talk about that. Hold on. Let me.